Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Zeke here again today with um, Benazma, our local Pajama Sam expert. Yeah, apparently. So basically, I picked up Pajama Sam 3, and I was like, man, this game's real good, but the puzzles are going to be too hard for me, so I need to call in anybody I can, I know who has any idea of how to complete them. So I called up all my friends, and as it turns out, that was two people, Benazma and Despic, and Benazma played the game. <laughs> I wonder where my Pajama Sam yep. Shut up, Pajama Sam! I can't do any yeah, superhero without my cape. Box. So, um, this game is, first of all, the most old school. I'm going to show you guys the opening cutscene, but I started on this screen because A, there's no menu to start, and B, I want to show you this quit menu. So you might notice save, load, and stop. Stop. Holy shit, he actually says it if you hover over it. Yeah, I, I remember that. Stop. Th that's weird. But anyways, so save, load, and stop. But um, the real old school thing, how you can tell this game is super stop. old, like almost DOS. Are you sure you want to quit? Y dash N. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So anyways, let's go watch the opening cutscene. I'm going to stay quiet so you guys don't miss any of the story, which I can tell you is riveting. Yeah, it's not the worst story for something that's for younger children. <laughs> for Three to eight. Okay. They have a maximum You're age limit. So fast, evil doer. It's jail for you, you tasty villain. Oh, by you the way. And your chocolate chip gang are through. Boy, eating cookies is hard work. Okay. Ah, but there's only one more box to go, and I'll have 20 box tops. And that means I can get the Pajama Man action figure with Titanic elbow thrust. Elbow thrust. I can hardly wait. Everybody. Titanic elbow Sam, thrust. Sam, it's almost time for dinner. What does that even mean? Dinner? I guess oh they boy. just put in a feature so that good. Um, thrust his elbows. Or is it uh -oh. like if you get the I action figure, it me. sinks the Titanic in the past? <laughs> That'd be like the greatest thing ever. And actually, initially the um, Titanic did not sing. D did not sing? It didn't yeah, sink. It, clearly it didn't oh, sink. And then first they the, spoil the my dinner and now they've gone to cause trouble somewhere else. Yeah. Stirring Somebody's got to stop them. Somebody the like... Pajama Sam! Of course, I'll need my cape. Alright, let's go find the cape. Oh, he said cape. I thought he said tea. I'm like, what the fuck type of little boy is this? So, as you may or may not know, this is a clickathon, a child's clickathon. Hooray! And by a child's clickathon, I mean high octane RTS strategy. Clearly. Yeah. Just look at the octane. Ah, nothing in here. There's like one of them. The is it is your cape in the drawer? I don't remember where the cape was. I thought you were There's supposed to be the expert here. here, man. Hey, you know, I can't remember every damn thing. We'll, we'll never find, we'll never be able to progress if we don't have like a full tutorial. What? 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 What is that? Sorry? You want? Oh man. What? Stop it! I'm gonna keep clicking this, but what are you doing? No I fucking go. What? I think it's just a loop now. Don't bother. Okay, yeah, fair enough, but why? Why not? Your cape is behind the fucking mirror? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, because. You have to put it somewhere All right, where cookies. people can't find Your it. Your right? spoiling days are over. Superhero. But Jim and Sam Imagine is on his way. Imagine if, you way. know, Superman just left his costume in, like, his drawer. Doesn't he just leave it on, kind of? Yeah, because that's the safest place. I'd also like to quickly mention that Pajama Sam, Sam clearly does actually have a superpower, and that superpower is the ability to... Imagination. No, 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 no. He, he just showed it off to us. Didn't you see it? He can create small amounts of wind indoors. Oh. Yeah, that's a... That's such a good superpower. Well, it's, it's an economically feasible one if you ever do a, a superhero of film course. or something, I guess. <laughs> it's true. Hello? Is somebody there? Uh, you'd be... <laughs> Nobody here but us potatoes. <laughs> um. Alright, cookies! I know you're in here. I can't help but feel we're going to be dinged for copyright for actually letting too many cutscenes play. Oh, yeah. Well, who cares about the game? No one's making money off this game anymore. 
Well, clearly I was bought a coffee. Yeah. Where are you taking me? Are you being like what? molested right now, what? dude? Is this a? Yeah, she's being inappropriately assaulted by cookies. Oh yes, there's that title. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you guys the full actual name for this is Pajamas M3. You are what you eat. Um. Oh you're boy. Up to your feet. Oh my God. A yeah, party. You're in a world where food is. Sapient, I guess. You know, so is Pearwood, apparently, but you don't hear me talking about it. Oh, well. Now, we should, um, well, since we're here and we probably will never be able to get out, we should definitely start dating this lollipop. Clearly. There's only two females and one appears to be taken. So, um. All you did was dance. Well, clearly we should talk to the hot dog. There's cookies right there. This is a great party! Well, I've, I've, had, I've seen worse parties. Um, I actually haven't. Can you, like, this is actually a real boring party. Yeah, but there's food. There is food. Yeah, you can have a boring party without food. You're like the only person dancing, or not dancing, and everybody else is dancing in the exact same, like, three-frame loop. Yeah, well... Hardware limitations, so, not hardware, software limitations. I'm pretty sure it's not software Great limitations, party. but laziness yep. limitations. What? What? That was it? Well, I guess we should talk to the ice cream cone. Well, you know, hot dogs don't have the biggest brains. and Well, maybe they do. Well, <laughs> nothing here has a brain. Ha ha ha! ha. Brains it's... ground up into hot dog joke. Oh, I mm. get it. Who? I get it. Ice cream cone? Yeah. I thought you were supposed to know all the answers, dude. I don't know all of the course. answers. Of course. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Stuff. Um. Maybe we eat. No, I think I remember. You gotta eat that cake there because Wait. it's blocking the exit. You have to eat the whole fucking cake? So far, this um, really isn't this expounding like its lesson. Oh my god. Who the fuck raised this kid? He's a monster! Oh, I can't now believe I ate the skin. whole thing. You ate it, Sam. Well, time to leave. He has blue skin, so he must be one of those people who believes that, um, eating, what's it called, something silver? <laughs> well, no, um, he's, he's thanks like everyone. A, this is a great he's party, like a but long I think I should be going now. It's almost my dinner Sonic time, and I wouldn't want to spoil it. Have it. He's blue and he can run super fast. That's true. My mom made all that broccoli. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, That's why? offensive. Why? Why? Broccoli? Like. Why would you say I, I, I want a steak or something? Wait, they want to be in? You can just wait here in jail until your trial next month, healthy boy. Next month? But it's almost time for dinner. I swear I recognize <laughs> this guy's fudge. voice. Now if I, you'll excuse me, I've got to get it's... back to the party. I don't know. We can check it up on Wikipedia later. I can't it's stay in here a whole month. Well I've got to get out of here. Like he played some sort of character in a kid's cartoon. Probably. I swear like, to God. I assume they were typecast like that. Let's talk to that broccoli. No, I want to eat these. Oh boy, then we are going hey, to Hey, Bart I like those. Oh shit, man. Some item. That was actually something I needed to do? Um, yeah. I think we might have to use that. Now. Would you like a bonbon? No, thank you. I'm not really hungry. <laughs> well, okay. My name's Sam. I actually didn't I want to progress it. I wanted are to you say a something. Are prisoner too? I don't know. Oh, I think I'm that? in here because I said I didn't want to spoil my dinner. Hmm. The sweets don't always get along well with the other foods. But I'm not a food. That okay. was a riveting revelation. Man. Have you? What I was going to say is, have you ever seen those people? It's called, like, something silver. Blank silver. It's a silver chemical that some people, for some reason, think is good for them if they eat it. And it turns your skin blue. Yeah, I've heard of it. Permanently. I don't know too much about it, but... Like, how fucking crazy do you need to be? Can I pick the lock with a bonbon? Can I throw the bonbon at this key? That key will Possibly open the cell door! Try. Um, bonbon key. Wow. 
This is like the worst idea. It worked. Oh my god. Yes! It worked kind of. Can I break off this candy cane? Obviously, it's clickable. Now, this hey, jail is not made I very secure. It's but you could candy canes. Oops. Gee, I didn't mean to break anything. What? Really? You, you clearly sure. just pulled Maybe on it, you fucking hand. asshole. <laughs> what were you trying to do pulling what? on it? Jesus, man. he has hammer space. Unless he just shoved that into his ass. Well, he's clearly got a bag of holding. See, this isn't that hard. You didn't need me. You know what I really, really would have done in this situation? After I had broken that candy cane, I would have just slipped the I fuck out the of those key. two bars. Yeah. I think maybe I, I deserve a reward. That prison open. I bet I could have even draw. Oh shit, man! Stop it, seriously. Like, I I'm not the type to discourage candy consumption, but this is just going too far, man. Like, at this point, it shouldn't take a turn for the slightly more. Oh, I should eat healthy. It should take a, take a turn for the. Now you have fucking diabetes, <laughs> asshole. Sam, you did it! <laughs> Quick, let's get out of here before they come back! Okay, let's go! By the way, um, quick lesson in diabetes and diabetes prevention. <gasps> Sweet tooth! After this, I guess. After this cutscene. We'd better not let them see us. Why is there a neuron next to us? I've got to get to the food pyramid as quickly mm. as possible. I'm supposed Could to be at the peace conference with the other delegates. The human body? Thank you so much for getting no, us out of there, sense. Sam. You're a real hero. <laughs> okay, see you okay. Later. I want to say something real quick here. If this is based on the food Jeez. pyramid, we're in for some bullshit. Those have you ever wondered why me. the food After pyramid? All, there's no blue food, right? Why but I'm not taking pyramid? any chances. Because the food pyramid, a lot of its organization was actually based on lobbying, specifically by the dairy industry. Because four to five servings of dairy, which isn't even necessary for your diet at all per day, is fucking insanity. Yeah, that's, that's not true. And as much as people say Get like that, you see that box top right oh there. Oh boy, a like box that. top! If I can find twenty of these, I can get a pajama man action figure with titanic elbow thrust. You don't say. It's not like we. Wait, why do we have a two and a half box? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I don't know. I'm guessing it's just if a box. I can find twenty why, of these. Why does it have a... two and a half on it? Yeah. It's clearly referencing two and a half men. Clearly. Uh, yeah, you know, it was the top sitcom of before it existed. Yeah. One hundred percent. So good it didn't even exist. People were like, "Men, have you heard of two and a half men? It's coming out in like." Ten years ish. <laughs> I'm trying to place the date of two and a half, two and a half men, which I never watched, and Pajama Sand, which I've never played. So this yeah. is maybe hard. Maybe five years difference. A little more than that, but less than ten potentially. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe even four. I don't even know anymore. The thing is, if you actually listen to the food pyramid, you overeat. Yep. Like. I understand vegetables and fruits are probably the most important thing you will eat, mm -hmm. but what is it again? Six to seven servings? Yeah, no, there's and a then, shit ton of servings. And then the carbs, which are the base of the pyramid, is even more servings than that? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And then you want like three to four servings of both dairy and protein, which are essentially the same thing? I guess. So That's let me let me crazy. get this straight. Every meal, you should have two major proteins, because, you know, you need to have, like, meat and well, dairy. their definition of a serving was very sketchy, too, but I think we're boring the viewers yeah, by just So, fuck it, the food pyramid, it's interesting talk, man. I guess it is. You don't want to talk about how ridiculous the goddamn food pyramid is? Well, no, we'll general, no. to the subscribers, then. Probably. Comment if you want more food pyramid debate. Okay, probably what you... I probably eat in a day about half of what the food pyramid recommends. I, uh, I'm not sure. Like I said, their definition of a serving is really sketchy. Two servings of meat, maybe a serving of dairy. 
Oh, I couple don't servings know. of carbs. Like, the, the, what they say is two servings of meat is pretty small. So I'm assuming since we saw somebody walk through this door, that's probably where we no, got to go, right? Clearly not. Clearly we want to go somewhere else. No, I'm kidding. Let's just let's go the obvious way. This is a game for kids. Oh, but the pneumatic tubes. Oh, wow. Hi, Carrot. Sam, boy, am I glad to see you. Business. The island of Mop Top is in big trouble. Yeah, that's Mop right. Top? Yeah, Mop Top. Somehow. Here's what's going down. The folks who live on Mop Top are all foods, right? The Fats and Sweets group has taken over. There's just so many of them. They're causing problems all over the island. General Beefoot wants to declare war on them. Wait, Beefoot? That doesn't sound very good. She got that right. So, I've already. Why do you sound so confused about that? One member of each of the six Boy, food groups has been chosen as a delegate, bad, and they're supposed I to all think. get together here at the war pyramid to talk out their differences. Right? I think Florence said something about that before. War. What is it good for? Right. Well, She's one of the delegates at the conference. People, Trouble is, apparently. only two well, are here. What you were supposed, supposed to do is give me literally six. correct bad answers. News. <laughs> um, everybody, or the saving slaves off. from oppression, defending yourself off. against a totalitarian All aggressor, right, that's it. Uh, this means war. That war. No, general. No. Ending a genocide. The conference uh, is still on. That's probably something you got to do with war. Yes. Yeah, the dead war is actually good for several things. It's misused a lot, but. It's misused way more than it is for good things, so... But don't... war also has its purposes. <laughs> there's, there's times when it's necessary. Yeah, it's, there's times when it's necessary, but we seem to pull that we seem to really fast on things that aren't the... Well, the thing is... good for it. Uh-oh. Political d discourse time. The thing is, you can't have a huge army without having an itchy trigger finger. Yeah, it's I'll kind of like that. always carrying around a gun and like holstering it. Oh boy, you are going to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to enrage people, but <laughs> I'm. I swear, most of my viewers are liberal now because I've scared away everybody else. You've, you've scared away. Like the okay, oh, oh, owning a gun. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Lots of people own guns. They're yeah. good for a lot of things. But uh, having like a major, major standing army to me is a bit like always holding a fully automatic rifle. Yeah. Someday you're gonna get nervous and shoot somebody. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway. Hell, I would've shot somebody if I had always held a, a fully automatic rifle. I was mugged once. <laughs> that shit was crazy. I guess we should leave. We, we I should stop discussing this and... What? 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 I don't know why you keep getting surprised by everything that happens. Well, I'm trying to... Well, I didn't listen to the dialogue because I'm an idiot. That's okay. They're, they're, they're declaring war. Well, no, they're, they're, I don't think they're declaring war. But this is a map of the island of Mop Top. Of course, course it is, saying. soldier. Oh, Wouldn't be very useful otherwise. I suppose not. Out. I didn't notice that before. Now look at that. Heart. Uterus. Eat. No, it's supposed to totally be his entire physiology right there. Yeah, uterus. On that note... <laughs> I, I don't know where we're supposed to go. Let's fuck off. Oh, yeah. one more thing, Sam. I've got to stay here and keep the general from declaring war. So somebody needs to find the other four delegates and get oh, them yeah, here. Right. They must have run into trouble, or they'd be here by now. I can find them for you. Basically, uh, Gemma the Sam always the helps those in need. So How will I recognize them? That part is easy. This They'll all be wearing straw hats. Florette and Luke Wigglebig are here. Uh, there's our list. The delegates still missing are Chuck Cheddar, Dean 47, Granny Smythe, and Pierre Lapin. What's this? A garage and a sweet just marched through the headlands. I don't know War, how you figured I tell that you. Out. No one told no, you. No, General, you don't wait. Seem to have oh, any sort of better find the system that will inform you of this. You're just can. looking at a static map. Yeah. What? What? Like. Sorry. What? Um. So. Let's let's get over the premise. I'm gonna do a quick recap of the episode, which was wildly offensive to a lot of people. Although I'm assuming we most talked people talked a lot of politics. Well, I only talked a bit of politics, and the only thing I really said is that you shouldn't carry full automatic weapons all the time out. Pretty much. You know, that's not that offensive, really. But I guess it is to those crazy people who are currently in the states. You oh, know the guys, right? Oh, we're just being offensive. No, no, those people are actually <laughs> fucking crazy. I mean the crazy people. Like there was a movement yeah, recently yeah, yeah, where they take major guns into like. Obviously. Yeah. 
But anyways, um... So we ended up in this strange world inside ourselves, and we gotta go find... The UN. Yes. Of vegetables. And then have a really boring fucking press conference. This is actually boring even by the standards of a kid's game. Uh, it's not that bad. You but know, I enjoy it, so whatever. You can change anything and just turn it into fruits and vegetables and suddenly it's oh, it, it's it's entertaining enough for kids. If you guys enjoyed the episode, which I know you didn't, please eat your own backpacks. If you didn't enjoy the episodes, please like, comment, subscribe, and um, please forgive me for all my political talk and my rant on the food pyramid. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.